Hey guys, this is Kyle with another 3D sound video. Today I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own 3D sounds using the same method that I used in my previous videos. If you're not too sure what a 3D sound is, to me it's basically a recording that when played back through headphones gives the listener an illusion that they're in a kind of virtual environment. It can also be known as binaural or holophonic, and if you want to check out some examples, just click on the links provided. So the first thing that you'll need to create 3D sounds is two identical voice recorders. You can use mobile phones and other devices that record sound, though I find these to be a lot easier to use. Make sure you take note of where the actual microphone is on the recorder and also make sure that you can easily transfer your recordings to your computer so that it can be edited later on. The next thing you'll need is a computer with audio editing software. There's a lot of audio software out there that'll do the job. Personally, I use a program called Audacity, which is free and easy to use. I'll provide the link below for those that want to download it. Finally and most importantly, you'll need a standard set of headphones to play back your 3D sound. A lot of people record their 3D sounds using a dummy head, but if you're anything like me and don't have one lying around, you can always use a friend's head or your own. It could also be a good idea to label the recorders left and right, just so that later on you know which ones you're working with. The best way to position the recorders is by putting the microphone part as close to the eardrums as possible, but make sure that you still leave room for the sounds to access it. So once you've got the microphones in place, you can start recording with both recorders. It's always a good idea to start off by saying something like 1, 2, 3, ears 4D, just so that later on in the editing stages you've got something to use when you're trying to match the two sounds together. You'll see what I mean a little bit later on. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll record a dog on one side, a chicken on the other, and a plane flying overhead. So once you've finished recording, you should have two separate recordings, one from the left ear and one from the right ear. What you want to do now is copy those to your computer, Make sure you name them left and right so you know which is which and open up the audio editing software. The first thing that you want to do before you start editing is just check that each of your tracks are in mono and not stereo. If they're in mono, you'll see something similar to what's in my screen. If they are in stereo, you need to change them to mono and I can tell you how to do that in the video description below as well as how to remove noise from the recording. The next thing we need to do is find the selection tool, the time shift tool, and the zoom button. You can use the selection tool to select the part of the track where we said 1, 2, 3, ears 4D, and use the zoom tool to zoom all the way in, but keep an eye on the other track as you want to use the time shift tool to match the two tracks together. As you can tell, it's a lot easier to match the two together when you zoom into the part of the audio that has a louder and sharper sound. The part of the recording where there's not much sound, the waves tend to be a little bit more flat and a lot harder to synchronize. So once the two tracks are in sync, you can zoom all the way out and hit play to test and see whether you can hear an echo or not. Okay, that sounds good. This is the most important part of all. You want to go to the track that you labelled left and drag the little icon here to the left hand side so that this track is only coming out of the left speaker. You also want to do that for the right hand side so that the right track is only coming out of the right speaker. And before I finalise it, I'm just going to add a quick fade out effect.
and a fade in effect. So now we can export these sounds into one by clicking File, Export, give it a name. and hit save. So that's it, your very own 3D sound. I'll finish off this video by playing the 3D sound that I just made. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you in my next video.